I like to be that person that people can depend on and rely on. The privilege of being able to assist people on their worst day is something I really hold to my heart. The chance to save someone's life is just nothing like it. Or just providing the littlest thing as a cup of tea, you're able to make someone's day. The role of a paramedic is really changing from how it used to be to what it is now. Being a Muslim and a person of colour, I feel like I can be more connected to my patients in a way. 20 years ago, the ambulance service was predominantly male-orientated. A trans person in any emergency service was unheard of. Being a voice for the ambulance service and a voice for uh, deaf people, I've been extremely fortunate and there's no reason why anybody else with similar hearing loss or disability cannot do the same. I always hope that when I cross someone's path, for example, who's black or someone of an ethnic minority, they might say, wow, he's in that role. Why can't I be in it? I feel like a lot of people have formed stereotypes, but being able to maybe change those and battle those, I can start changing, you know, people's mindsets. You can't be worried about what you might look like or what people perceive of you. It's the small changes you can make uh, and influence in other people. What we're trying to do is demyth the issue regarding trans people and trans patients. And I get support massively from the senior management. They understand the work that I do and believe in its worth. And that's a big thing. I always want to put my face out there and I want this role to be different. Regardless of your age, sex or ethnic background, it's a really rewarding career. Everyone in uniform, everyone in green is like a massive family. And that's what I get so excited about in terms of work. I'm Mahdia and I'm a paramedic. I'm Richard and I'm a paramedic. I'm Steph and I'm a paramedic. I'm Matondo and together we are paramedics.